And he said, this was not done with the power of man. This was brought here with the power of the ark. So he actually says directly to Graham Hancock that the ark has gravitational capabilities. Go ahead. Um, what do you think is Interestingly, when they arrived in Europe, the first thing they did is that they built... You see, all of a sudden, they became builders. You know, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, all of a sudden, they could build amazing structures. The first thing they built was the first Gothic cathedral, Chartres, a huge cathedral in France. Now that cathedral has been examined by many engineers and all the engineers agree that thing is not reproducible with current technological advancements. I mean, you're talking whole temples, all whole pyramids were covered with gold. You don't do that by mining in the middle of the desert. Okay? So, um, you know, the Ark crystal is the philosopher's stone that the alchemists were looking for. So when you, um, you start, now it starts to make a whole picture different, eh? The Knights Templar could not talk about the Ark directly because the Vatican would have had their head real quick. So they had to talk about it in terms of magic, in terms of magical spell. They had all these ancient books that had description of the Ark. They started to distribute those in underground, you know, root, uh, grassroot, you know, um, uh, sectors. And all these became magical texts. That's why you see all these ancient texts appearing in the middle of Europe, like the Kabbalistic texts. And the, and, and the modern archaeologists and, and historians think, or oh, the Kabbalah came out of the 11th century in Europe. It's not, it's not ancient. And all the Jewish people are saying, no, no, this is ancient knowledge. Right? That's because the historians are confused where the information came from. It came from the Knights Templar. And so they start to dispute this. And they became very powerful. They, they became very rich. And the king of France started to freak out. The, freak, the king of France was losing a lot of money. And the Pope was getting very, very worried that the Ark was going to become public knowledge. And that would not be good for the Vatican. So the king of France, and this is a historic meeting, the king of France the Pope of the time and the an, an Ethiopian delegation got together at the Vatican. And they all talked about it and they decided they needed the Knights Templars out of there. Now it's not no longer the 11th century, we're talking 13th century, the year 1213, on a Friday the 13th, which gave Friday the 13th this bad reputation, the Knights Templars were dis declared uh, illegal. The order of the Knights Templar was declared illegal by the Pope. And the Inquisition striked at some of the largest temples of the Knights Templar. Many of the temples actually were ded dedicated to the goddess, to the Black Madonna. And how things work was brought through the ages, through these two enterprises, the Freemasons and, and the Knights Templar. And that's why in both of these um, traditions, you find, they, and I did research this, they both say that their roots 
was the Knights Templar and that their knowledge comes from ancient, ancient Egypt. You see what I mean? And they both have the highest level of initiation at the 32nd level of initiation. 33rd being, you know, uh, a complementary initiation actually because the 33rd is just when you get a um, direct to direct a house in the in the both in both of them but the higher level of initiation in both uh, system is the third the second uh, level of initiation so the two put together generate the 64 and in both uh, in both system, the highest level of initiation consists of, and I've asked to both, consists of stepping in front of a mock Ark of the Covenant and making vows. So they still have the concept of the Ark in there. Well, when the new world was discovered, Guess who came? The Freemasons. The founders of the constitution of this country was written by Freemasons. And the whole layout of the Washington Monument and so on was laid out by the Freemasons. That's why you have a huge stellar in the middle an Egyptian symbol. That's why the Pentagon is a Pentagon. That's why the White House and all the, the, the area and all this generates a star tetrahedron. And that's why when you look at the one dollar bill, you have a pyramid with an eye on it. And on the other side, if you have one to a dollar bill, check it out. You will see a star tetrahedron generated by 12 stars with a 13 in the middle. The vector equilibrium. The 12 vectors of the vector equilibrium generating the singularity, the 13 in the middle. 